we are underway. We just saw a little tiny breeze, which is still here, and decided, well, we may as well start moving while we chill. And so that's what we're doing. Sail off the anchor, pretty chill. A lot of chill. Chill, chill, chill. 50 miles to Marina del Rey, where we're leaving Cedar McClyde while we go back to our Pacific Northwest homelands to see family and take care of some stuff. Cat is journaling or something. I am keeping track of where we've been. I'm keeping up with a log of our whereabouts <laughs> for the last two months. <laughs> and it's been over two weeks since I last wrote it, so I'm trying to remember. Yeah, I've been pretty lazy on the log book too. I'm keeping the hour log generally. I got the video log, so that's pretty uh, in depth, isn't it? We're just sailing along here and there's a bunch of dolphins right at the edge of a fog bank that's about to encase us. Which will be nice, it'll probably feel like air conditioning turning on here in a second. Yeah, I can feel it now actually. As soon as we got into the fog, it kicked up quite a bit here. It's not much more wind, but we're going at a nice pace. Must be a contrast to the temperatures increasing the breeze right at the edge here. Oh, oh watch it pooped. Here we go. Oh. Here. Dolphins. <laughs> nice. Oh. <laughs> Ah, oh, nerd. Oh, we, oh. Ah. <laughs> ah, uh, oh, that was a good, worthy try of a balloon. Short notice in the fog in the spinnaker action. We can't turn around for it. Gosh, people, stop putting your balloons up in the air. They end up in the ocean and the birds eat them. That's not good. Whoa, so close. <laughs> Got another balloon here. Cat's on the case. Must be near a city. Oh. Very nice. Very nice. Hey, it's the same as one of the ones, the one we were trying to spear, that silver one. All right. Someone was having a star night. Partying does not have to involve littering. Right? Sad. You want those poor sad dolphins to have to deal with this? No way. Drunk feels special. Well, I'd say being in the fog with the big spinnaker up, at least we're highly visible should a boat come across us. <laughs> right, cat? Right. <laughs> Some air traffic from LAX. That'll be us in a couple days. Well, we could be anywhere in the world, but we're just about four miles from Los Angeles shores of Los Angeles right now. You can hear uh, airplanes taking off from LAX and we're just about three or four miles out from the entrance to Marina del Rey where we're heading in to, to tie up. The sailing's been good so I'll take that. It's nice to be able to sail in fog and be able to hear what's going on around you instead of powering and not hearing a thing. Well we're one mile from Marina del Rey now in Los Angeles and still foggy, but the wind is subsiding at a pretty good time, and we're gonna drop sails and get into the marina now. By golly, we have found yet another balloon. This time, Trevor will be taking the boat hook. On God! Can you do another round? Will he be able to land it in? Will he get it? Will he get it? 
captured! Purple balloon! Is that, Perfect oh, timing. Is that another one there? No, oh, that's a gull. Oh. Um, and we'll drop the mainsail down. Okay. Got another one for Trev and Cat, and another one gone from the ocean. Woohoo! We are halfway to the Sea of Cortez. Yeah. Rolling into Los Angeles now, Marina del Rey. Lots of boats around, the fog's lifting just as we get here. Woohoo! We'll catch you later, Pacific Ocean, back in 14 days or something. Yeah, yeah! Uh, turns out docking is quite the ordeal here in Los Angeles. Uh, we pulled into the wrong slip um, because we couldn't see any of the numbers and had to avoid one of these rowboats and now all of a sudden all of the rowboats are having practice right in front. <laughs> Upon arrival into the expanse of Marina del Rey, we checked into the Del Rey Yacht Club, which had welcomed us to stay for two weeks as reciprocal visitors. Once settled in, we packed our bags to travel home to the Pacific Northwest and tuck Sea Dream of Clyde in for a well-deserved rest. It was a wild feeling arriving to Los Angeles aboard our own boat. We excitedly reminisced about the nearly two months of travel it took us to get to this point and discussed our excitement for what was to come. But in the meantime, we were excited to head home to see family and take care of some things. Oh yeah, and Marina Del Rey is a crazy place. There's a crew member sitting there on the side. Yo, 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 what's <laughs> up? We're back in LA. <laughs> After about 11 days off the boat, we are back. We had a little trip to the Pacific Northwest, and now we're going grocery shopping and filling our propane. Yes, we are getting ready to head to Catalina Island, and that's all I have to say. So walking to where there's the grocery store and propane fill-up spot is quite a bit of distance, but by dinghy, it's really close, just across the harbor. So we're going to go jump in the dinghy and go grocery shopping, which is really convenient. So and let's more go. fun. Way yeah, more fun. a lot more fun than walking on hard concrete. So we're going to do that now. Woo Buddy. Hi, buddy. Well, I forgot to bring the camera with me, but we did our little grocery mission and it's super easy here in Marina Del Rey. If you can just rock, rock your dinghy up to Trader Joe's as a guest dock where you can park for two hours. It's like Trader Joe's is right beside it, so it was super easy to get the groceries. And then also the propane was only about a, maybe only a seven or eight minute walk. So we're all stocked up and ready for our, what will probably be five or six days at Catalina Island before we head to San Diego and then into Mexico. Yeah, it was such a nice dinghy ride to, to Trader Joe's and REI. I got some new shades. <laughs> Pretty cool. Um, oh, and the egg things. Um, we got these really awesome egg holders that are plastic, um, but we can reuse because we've been told that down in Mexico, um, you need to bring your own container. A paper bag won't cut it. Yeah, a paper bag won't cut it. So they're great. They actually fit really well. I was a little nervous that the big eggs that we get wouldn't fit, but now they can live down in our bilge. Another beautiful sunny California morning, and we are just getting set to leave to Catalina Island. We've had the boat here at the Delray Yacht Club for about two weeks now, almost two weeks. We did a trip to the Pacific Northwest, and now we're Excited to get sailing again. Looks like there's a little bit of an easterly blowing for us, so we should be able to beam reach for at least the first half of the day. Got 37 miles to make in total, so hopefully the wind does keep up. It's supposed to turn to more southerly later on in the day, so we might have to do a bit of tacking actually. But the swell out there is really minimal, and it should be good sailing up ahead for us. Okay. Thank 
Heads up! Go my way! College bros. We're making our way out of Marina Del Rey here with rowers everywhere. And looks like a nice day out here. It's just a gentle easterly blowing at the moment. We're out at Marina Del Rey. Cat's on the helm getting the hang of spinnaker action. And we are under the flight path of the Los Angeles airport. So there's a big airplanes flying right over top of us every minute or two. Uh, sometimes quite low and noisy. It's so nice to be out of the harbor. It's beautiful out here, a little easterly. It's supposed to change to a southerly uh, through the day, so hopefully we, uh, we get to keep enjoying this for a little while. All right, nice breeze kicked up now. We're buzzing along here. Six knots, sweet. Start taking it down. Okay, good. All right, now I'm going to drop the spinnaker. The wind has turned to a bit more southerly and gotten really light. So we're just bobbing along here. I see a little more wind up ahead, so we'll we'll wait for that. And see if anything comes of it. And yeah, cat's doing okay. Yeah, I think spending too much time on land has done me over. I didn't eat breakfast. I had one apple slice, but didn't want to stay down. So I have to relearn how to be happy on this boat again. Womp womp. But I am enjoying laying down. So thank you, Trevor, for being at the helm. Yeah, so we got about 23 miles, I think it was, till we're at Catalina Island, and then I've got to bop around the corner for another four or something to Cat Harbor, Catalina Harbor. And it'll be a really nicely protected anchorage. There shouldn't be any swell in there. So, um, well, we got a bob across here. It's pretty mellow, but it's kind of low rolling swell and not a ton of wind is not the most comfortable motion on the boat but we do have that nice good anchorage to look forward to up ahead it's right here attempting to play in our very slow bow <laughs> right here they were like under the boat or something feels nice to be leaving the craziness of this city behind the freighter is coming going and now we're out of the flight path of Los Angeles Airport, which is nice. That was pretty noisy there. The southerly is coming up pretty nice now. We're making a good pace, though a little bit less positive angle for us, but that's all good. Got lots of daylight, lots of time. And this is one of the rare occasions where Noah seems to be more correct than windy. So I guess I was just looking at the European weather model for windy. Maybe the GFS would be better, um, but we are getting a sturdy southerly, um, contrary to what Whitney was saying. We sailed for quite a while, then the wind gradually got lighter and then just died. So we are powering along rather than rolling around out here in the swell. Given the pretty light forecast, there's not much to wait for. So about 15 miles till we're at the tip of Catalina Island. Hopefully some wind comes up, but in terms of motoring, this isn't the worst motoring conditions you can have. Just flat calm, no wind to tempt me, and yeah, it's pretty chill. A few dolphins around, not much else to report.
Alright, we're just at the northern tip of Catalina Island. Powering along here because it's going to get dark kind of soon. And the wind has been on the nose and variable. But we might get to stay on the last little bit here. It's really pretty though. Lots of dolphins around and a few birds around. It's real nice. And cat's feeling better. I'm vertical again. Still adjusting. Well, the gosh darn daylight saving time has us arriving near dark at 5 o'clock. What's with that? We gotta start getting up earlier because sunrise is 6.30. Anyways, we're just about at Catalina Harbor after a initially pretty good day of sailing and then mortar fest. But sometimes you gotta do that. There were no good looking days until Sunday for wind, so we weren't about to hang out in Los Angeles until then, so we'll just go and enjoy this though. It's 5.30 and dark. Rolling into Catalina Harbor here. See a few boats up ahead with no anchor lights on. Finding our way in. Thanks for watching Sail and Cedric McClyde. In the next one, we gallivant around the wonderfully deserted Catalina Island and then head off to San Diego. Bye for now.